In this video, we'll switch things up a tad and consider the force or dynamics problems in a vertical direction. Example 1. A 92 kg skydiver is a few seconds into their freefall and dropping with an acceleration of 4.8 meters per second squared. What is the wind resistance on the skydiver? First step, a good free body diagram. Now we can show our force of gravity going down. The friction force from the wind resistance is pushing up, and that's all of the forces. Now, the skydiver is clearly accelerating down, so we could set our positive direction as down. Again, make sure our indicator is a dotted line so we don't get it confused with the forces. Step 2. F net equals MA. Now there's only vertical forces in this one, and on the left of the equal sign is our F net. So let's replace that with our forces. Considering down to be positive, we'd have FG minus FF, as the FF is going up and opposing the skydiver's motion. On the right, we have the mass and the acceleration. Now we're looking for the force of friction. So let's rearrange the formula for FF, just moving terms around. And we can replace our FG with MG. We're near enough to the surface of the Earth. And we plug in our numbers. M equals 92 kilograms. G equals 9.8 meters per second squared. Down is positive. A equals 4.8 meters per second squared. Now, do we need a negative here? Now, the negative defines the direction, and well, we note that we've already marked FF as negative at the beginning, here. So we don't need to indicate direction in the acceleration. It's already been looked after, so no negatives needed here. If we look at this line here, if the skydiver's acceleration was zero, this term would be gone. And we know that the force of friction simply equals the force of gravity. And that would be a terminal velocity. Given that, there is acceleration down. The force of friction must not be quite big enough to balance the FG. It simply counters the FG partially, causing a reduced acceleration of 4.8 meters per second squared down. And that makes sense. And we can calculate FF to be. 460 newtons. Note that we predicted that FF would be upward in our equation back here. Thus, seeing that it's a positive confirms our prediction. FF is indeed upwards. Perfect. Example 2. A hot air balloon with a total mass of 460 kilograms is accelerating upwards at 1.9 meters per second squared. What is the buoyancy force on the balloon? So our first step, a good free body diagram. And we can show our force of gravity pulling that balloon down, but the buoyancy force, due to the balloon's collected hot air, is pushing that balloon up. Now in this case, the balloon is accelerating upward. So let's set up as our positive. Step two, F net equals MA. Again, only vertical forces here. On the left of the equal sign is our F net. So let's replace that with our forces. And considering up to be positive, we have FB going up and FG going down. On the right, we have the mass and the acceleration. We'll rearrange it to solve for our buoyancy force, what we're looking for. And we can replace our FG with MG and we plug in our numbers. M equals 460 kilograms. A equals plus 1.9 meters per second squared. It's accelerating upwards. And G equals 9.8 meters per second squared. Again, let's think. Do we need the negative in here? Well, the negative defines the direction. And we remember that we already marked the FG as negative back here. It's already looked after, so no negative needed. If we look at this line here, our buoyancy force 
is pushing against the force of gravity. If it was less than the force of gravity, then the balloon would still be falling, like the skydiver in the previous problem. It would be accelerating down. If the buoyancy force equaled the force of gravity, then the balloon would be moving at a constant velocity. That is, no acceleration. In this case, the buoyancy force is bigger than the force of gravity and pushing the balloon up. So we have a buoyancy force equal to the force of gravity term plus the acceleration term. And that makes total sense. And we can calculate the buoyancy force to be 5400 newtons. And it's a positive, which indicates that the force is upwards, as expected. Perfect.